What's up? My name is Techno, but here for Troubleshoot, and welcome back to another video. So, in this video, in this video, I'm gonna be going through a really useful tip if you play something like Rust or another competitive game and you're live streaming it, where you don't want to show certain sensitive information while holding a certain key. At least in the game Rust from Face Punch, when you hold the G key, your map shows on screen. This can be incredibly detrimental to you if you're a streamer, because not only can players use landmarks around you to pinpoint your location, but by holding the map key, you simply show them exactly where you are. Stream snipers can run to you, end you, and take your loot. Now, of course, a lot of streamers will try and avoid this by setting up a hotkey to change between scenes, but there's a much easier way. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to show and hide something on the screen for your stream while you're playing a game. You don't even need to be tabbed in. This video will cover both OBS and Streamlabs OBS, but of course we'll be starting with just OBS. Of course, while you'll be hiding something on the stream, what we're going to need is an image of the right size, or at least something that you'll reposition later to cover the right areas. I would suggest using a PNG image format so that you can have transparent areas if you only want to cover up a certain section, say a scoreboard, while holding tab. To do that, you can use any photo creation software, but I'll be using Affinity Photo, a paid piece of software. I'll simply make a new project at the same size as my recording and I'll simply either add an image or I'll simply just add say a black box. Let's say that the map only takes up this much of my screen and I can base it off a screenshot of the in-game gameplay that I put underneath this. So I've taken two random images off the internet. Let's pretend that this is the screenshot from the game or say something like this. This is the map that pops up onto your screen when you hold G and it pinpoints your location. Now, of course, I know the real map is full screen, but this is purely as an example to show you what you can do with this. Simply create a box or something to cover the sensitive area that you don't want people on your stream seeing. Then you can enter some text to explain why it's there, for example. Let's say it like this over here. Now we can simply remove the screenshot that we used as a template. This is the map over here, and this is the image that will be covering it while we're holding the map key. I'll simply save this as a PNG so it has a transparent background and I'll put it on my desktop as just untitled. Once you have your image and you can open it up, this is what it would look like when it's showing on the screen. Let's do it first in OBS. I'll simply bring OBS across and I'll make it a bit bigger so we can see what's going on. I'll drag and drop the image into my sources or I'll click the add button and I'll add a new image source. Then call it whatever you want. I'll call it map. I'll press OK choose the file, and you can see it's now appearing on the stream. You can't see it because I'm recording this. Let me just quickly hide it. There we go. That's exactly what it would appear like when we press the button in game. I'll simply click OK, and now we can toggle it on and off of our screen, covering the map. That's exactly what we wanted. By default, I'll have the eye like this, simply by clicking it to hide it and not show it on my stream at all times. Now, we'll simply head into settings, then hotkeys, and then we'll simply scroll down to the correct scene. As you can see, my scene is just called scene. If you had multiple scenes, you'd look for the scene name up here. Then we'll simply look down the list for the map entry that we just created, show map key and hide map key. Now Streamlabs OBS has a nice feature where you have a push to show or a push to hide key, much like the push to talk. So in OBS, you'd simply use the key that brings up sensitive info in game to bring up the blocker inside of OBS. G is the in-game map and we'll bring up the map blocker with G. Then to hide it, I'll simply press say H while in game. It's just so that when I do hold the map key, it shows and when I let go of it, it'll still be blocking it on my actual stream. I'll have to press H as well to hide it. There we go. I'll click OK. And now I'll simply press G while in game. Suddenly I'm covering the map. I'll press H when I've let go of G and the map is completely gone. And now we're back to here. The only downside to using the Streamlabs push to show or push to hide is that the delays could be a bit off. If the map fades out slowly after you let go of the key, it may not be the best solution and you'd have to resort to a two button solution like this. One to show, one to hide. Because if the map fades out slowly, the image will disappear instantly and the map will still be showing on screen just at a slightly lower transparency. So in some ways this could be better and in some ways it could be worse. Really depends on your use case scenario. Let's go ahead and open up Streamlabs OBS and see how we do it in here. Simply once again, either drag and drop the image into the sources list or click the add button, then choose image. Then I'll click add source, name it whatever I want, and then click add source once again, locate the file, click done, and now it would be appearing on the stream as such. I'll click the eye to hide it once again, then I'll head into the settings in the bottom left, once again, hotkeys, and this time I'll scroll all the way down to the same place that we did before. Scenes, I'll expand the correct scene that we're on, which is just titled scene. I'll scroll down even further and we'll find push to show map, push to hide map, hide map, and show map. 
These two buttons up here are the same ones that you have in OBS, just now you have a push to show or a push to hide. I'll be using the push to show. While I'm holding the G key, I want you to show this on the stream. That's basically what push to show does. I'll click done, and now whenever I'm playing a game and I hold G, it'll appear on my stream. I let go of G and it suddenly disappears. While this is useful, once again, if you have something that slowly fades out, this would be rendered basically useless. You'd need to resolve to both show and hide keys separately instead of just a while I'm holding it, do this. But anyways, that's about it for this video. It really depends on your use case and what exactly you'd use this for. While this was specifically for the Rust game, you could use it for literally any use case. Thank you for watching. My name's been Technoba here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.